Dua Fragrances Fear Sitar. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Dua Fragrances Fierce Attar. Now, my favorite version of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce is Dua's version. And Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce is one of those fragrances that you can create the smell or something that smells like it a million different ways. But when it comes down to the robustness and the classicness of the original, unfortunately Dua is the only one to really get that vibe and then max it out. That is what we had with the original Dua Spheres. A bunch of people have just stormed me and actually bought this even before I did that tell me that this is amazing. I even have a friend named Josh who used to work at Abercrombie & Fitch who loves Fierce. And I told him exactly what I just told you, that I really like the original Dua Spheres. It's literally like probably my favorite fragrance to wear like hands down. So I told him, he like has all the fears, says, hey bro, get it. He, we're all typed, we're all talking, he gets it, and then he's quiet. And then I'm like, oh, okay, something had to happen. So we ended up talking about Fierce Attar, which he absolutely loves. And then he said that the uh, Dua Spheres was, had too much of a BO vibe and he gave it away. I could not believe it. I respect him and I love that his name is Josh and that he worked at Abercrombie and that he likes Fierce, but I just don't get that at all because I love Fierce. If I wasn't a fragrance reviewer and somebody offered me unlimited Dua Fierce so long that I only wore Dua's Fierce, I would literally take it. I'm 100% hands down and I just love it. It's just what I like. I love Dua's Fierce. However, Josh thought that this was the basically perfect. He said they finally nailed it. And then on top of that, I had at least two or three other people just Tell me how good it is, so let's jump into Fierce Attar. The notes online, they got tons of notes, but it just smells like Fierce. You know what Fierce smells like. The tons of notes we got here are petite grain, cardamom, lemon, orange, fir, aquatic notes, jasmine, rosemary, rose, lily of the valley, sage, vetiver, musk, oak moss, rosewood, and sandalwood. And I double checked the original Dua Spheres and they're the exact same notes. This is supposed to be essentially the same fragrance, but just maxed out. The Atar meaning basically means that it's just the highest projecting fragrances that they make. They're going a little bit away from the original DNAs to make that original DNA as maxed out as possible. So it's just super high projection with just sacrificing just a hair of the original DNA. Situations, this is good for it smells like fierce so you should already know what situations it is good for but i'll tell you anyway work i think this is okay to good i've always enjoyed kind of fierce for work you could go a little bit lighter it just smells good it's kind of like an everyday style scent as it is and you know it can be a bit sexy it's not the best thing for the office but it definitely works gym scent this is great for a gym scent but i would just go with one spray it's all you're gonna really need the date this is good fierce has always smelled sexy but it's it's never been really one that people look for for a date. It's just kind of like an everyday hot weather style fragrance. It does smell pretty good on a date, especially if it was warmer out, but it's not the first thing that I would grab either. And this is just basically like an everyday summer scent, like I was just saying. I mean, that's what most people wear it as, and I just like how versatile it is because it kind of fits into everything, but I gotta say it is pretty much just an everyday style scent. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of Fierce Attar. The pros is that it is cleaner and more woodsy than the original Dua's Fierce. So if you're somebody to where you think that Fierce has a noticeable off-putting vibe personally i would not say bo but i know what they're talking about when they say that it has just a general kind of off-putting a little bit weird style vibe at times and that's pretty much taken out of this almost 100 percent i would say i get that vibe maybe 10 to 20 percent which is really going to open up certain different other kinds of audiences um, this is like i said it's more mature it's more cleaner if you think it smells like too much like bo or too ugh, so weird you know this one definitely removes that i kind of felt like this smells like a little bit like 2009 ish fierce to me personally it's definitely not a bad thing i'm just saying that's kind of what i smell so i actually compared this to some other uh fierce clones that i have fierce is at least when i was testing it um, you kind of go nose blind, so if you smell one, you don't really smell the other and vice versa. But because the other versions of Fierce that I tried had different ingredients in them, I was able to smell just the differences because the part that smelled like Fierce I was nose blind too. So it was actually very easy to spot the differences. There was one that I really like 
that I reviewed highly and I really enjoy. And it definitely had like almost like a vanilla vibe or just something slight that I'm like, that doesn't smell like fierce. When I first smelled it, it smelled like fierce. But when I compared it to this, I'm like, this smells more like Fierce than the other one. So a lot of people can make a lot of things that smell like Fierce, but Dua really went out of their way to give you, at least in my opinion, what we want with Fierce. So anyways, yeah, so it's closer to other clones. Okay, this has really good projection. Obviously, this is gonna be an Atar, so Fierce, Dua's Fierce already had amazing projection. So if you're gonna try to make this even better, it's not surprising that the projection is good. I'll kind of get more into that in my smell rating and into my cons, and I don't have any cons about it not lasting long enough, but it definitely has above average projection. I've sprayed this up and you know twice when I woke up the next day I got little whiffs of, of it on me which was and it was obviously smelled really good. So that kind of confirms what people are saying. I think someone else commented that they had some insane projection. I think it was like they sprayed it on their skin and then 24 hours later they could smell it and then I had another guy tell me only spray this on the skin don't spray it on the clothes. For me I haven't had a problem spraying it on the clothes like I kind of treat it like a normal fragrance so just want to put my two sense out there other you know maybe the best way is to spray it on skin and then obviously it's just a compliment getter i remember i think somebody said that they don't even wear fierce and they tried this out and they got like a few comments in a week it just is really you know it's it's got this light smell that you continue to smell for so long and it does really smell really sexy and good so it's not surprising that it's so clean so pure and just has just the right projection to last it, it really is a compliment getter in my opinion. And then the last pro it is kind of like what I was saying before. It is a little bit less offensive than the original Fierce. So if there was kind of like an immature quality, it's pretty much gone here. All right, guys, jumping into the cons of this fragrance. The cons is that, now don't kill me. You like what you like. I like what I like. I'm going to be 100% honest. People hype this as if it was literally like gold in a bottle. I was kind of expecting above perfection with this one but this is noticeably less punchy than dua's fierce it also at least temporarily does not project as far away in my opinion than dua's fierce and when you spray dua's fierce up you know a quite a bit i mean people are probably going to smell you if there's wind 15 20 25 feet away right when you spray up it just jumps off the skin this one it feels lighter, but then there's also been times where I spray up and it really, you know, it can jump a little bit or and it can feel like, wow, don't spray more than three and get in the car kind of a thing. And then, like I said, I also was getting little whiffs of it when I woke up the next day and I don't really get that. I'm somebody who tries colognes out all the time and I didn't really get that vibe either. So it is less punchy. It is got less initial projection than Fierce, but like I said, it is pretty noticeable especially if you get in the car and then some people probably didn't want fierce to project that far away maybe they want something a little bit more reserved but also retaining that really clean fierce vibe that's what you have here and then the only other con i was kind of just saying it right now is to me the vision of fierce this isn't as close as Dua's Fierce. I had one of my friends who absolutely loves Fierce, did not like the original Dua's, absolutely loves Atar. So that tells me if you really like Fierce, you probably need to order them both and see what you think for yourself because I can't believe we would have such split opinions. I'm not talking badly about this fragrance, but when I first was about to smell this and after hearing all the hype, I was really let down for like, a couple hours and I was kind of trying not to judge it right away or to go in my comments and be like dude what is this this is like further away from the original like what, what do you mean like and it doesn't even project super far away either so it's like I just didn't really get it but obviously doing the testing I really do like this one and I think if you like fierce you pretty much need to try both and Dua's Fierce is always sold out, which means it has an insanely high demand. So it's really nice that they're creating other versions of Fierce. All right, guys, if I was going to give it a smell rating, I'd give it an 8.5 to 9 for the smell. It just is really good. And obviously, you know, I think Dua's Fierce is a little bit more what I'm thinking of with Fierce. 
but I did try this against other versions and this one was still really, really nice compared to those other versions. Likeability, I'm gonna give an 8.5 to a nine. It's just, I would say it's maybe even like 0.5 more likable than the original Duo Fierce, just because it is more safe, it is more mature, um, if somebody's gonna be kind of angry or upset at you wearing a cologne or just kind of gets upset by cologne, this one is going to be easier for them to like than the original Duo. So I would say 8.5 to a nine. And then also, of course, if you get it in the right circumstances, I'm sure somebody's gonna love it like a 10. And then longevity and projection, I'm gonna have to give this an 8.5 to a nine. What really sold me was smelling a little whiffs later on. It just has a, a noticeable smell, a very above average projection, which I really do appreciate. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Fierce Atar. For me, I would probably go with, like I said, that Dua's normal Fierce or do his version of Vintage Fierce personally. I would say definitely get both. I think it's like on Saturdays, they do 30% off. I also did try this against that one mix of Elysium and Fierce. I think it's called Fierce Supernova, there you go. Basically what I noticed was a little bit of that fresh Mandarin. I still really like Supernova. Supernova is lighter. You smell a little bit of that off-putting vibe in the Fierce Supernova, but again, it's much lighter because it is mixed with that Elysium. But again, my go-to is Dua's Fierce. I absolutely love, love, love that stuff. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Fierce Atar. Let me know what your favorite version of Dua's Fierce is. Have you tried that one Dua fragrance with like five different ones in there? I'll be very interested to see down below. And it continues to blow me away how good all these clone houses are and how I prefer Dua by a hair so many times. I don't know what else they're doing, but I really enjoy it. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.